rolled up like a sock and discarded. This body is for something different. An agent of near miraculous change and one responsible for making butterflies powerful symbols of hope and transformation. This is a sign that something beautiful is surely on its way. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. The current threat level is critical. Civilians are advised to stay in their homes. Evacuations are currently taking place in the London area. All motorways and airports have been closed for military use. All non-essential telephone lines have also been temporarily disconnected. Wait. There's an entrance from the back. I'll let you in. You need to lower your weapon and calm down. Hey! He's fucking bleeding out, man! Your buddy needs help. I'm a doctor. Hope him. Let me see. Nave, give us some space. He won't stop bleeding. Please, save him. Hey. Stay focused. Hey. Remember what we're here to do. Now tell me your name. Do you know where you are, Edward? This man's our final hope. We're this close. Where are you from, Edward? And the CDC is his control. Keep your mind on it, alright? Hey! Hey! He's losing a lot of blood. You, get the towels. Down the corridor, now! You, in the med kit, in the basement, now! Feel a slight discomfort. <laughs> 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 
What the fuck? Ed! Wake up! Shit! What the fuck did you do? Ring! Ring! What's going on? It's too late. He's dead. His body might be infected. Get him out of here. Don't fucking touch him! Nave! Nave! Look at me. It's not worth it. Just get him out of it. What do we do now? I'm freaking out, man. What do we do now? Don't worry. We're gonna get through this. We need to make contact with Bravo team. They might have a way of getting us out of here. We don't have Evac for another 27 hours. We have a job to do, stay focused. He was our job. Now he's dead. Calm down. We need to make sure that we're safe here. And until we make contact, we're staying right here. You trust this guy? I mean, what have you seen? What? Where is what? I don't know. But we were attacked by someone or something. What if he's with them? We were told this area was gone. Zero survivors. I mean, what's the deal? This close to Grand Zero. I don't know what answers to give you. He let us into his house. He let us keep our guns. He hasn't given us any reason to be concerned. Yet. Yeah. Relax. Get some sleep. We'll go through this tomorrow morning. How do you stay so cool, man? You got so much to lose. Don't you think about your family? Every day. Every second. You're young. This is your job. You have nothing else to lose. So just relax. But he's dead! Right before the crash, he said, if we find the black case, we find who did it. Who would do something like that? Three months. So many dead. Who would fucking do something hey, like that? Hey. Keep it together. Like I told you, we'll go through it in the morning. We need to talk. Please take a seat. Who are you and how are you still alive? You come into my house, point a gun at my face, and you expect me to trust you? Alright. My name's Ray. My partner's name is Nathan. The guy that he was trying to save, his name was Edward. He was part of a research delegation that was sent to figure out where this virus came from or where it started. We isolated this area to the point where the virus got released. 
Billions have died. The collapse of law and order. It's brought everything to its knees. We got separated from our delegation when we got attacked by unknown hostiles. I'm not sure what I can say for you to trust us. But we need your help. Wait. It's an order taken. I'm Dr. Lee. I work with plants. A botanist. I've been living here since it all began. And I've been living on rations, which you're more than welcome to share. But I just have one rule. I have my space, and you have yours. Which means, don't go into my room. Is that clear? Naif, wake up. We got work to do. What? We need to make a supply run. There's equipment in the vehicle that we need. You want to go back out there? After what happened? Listen to me. We don't have a choice. We're not going to get far without our gear. This ain't a discussion. What are you doing? We just came back from the supply room. Risky. Well, you want to stay boarded up here forever? I'm right where I want to be. What do you think he's doing in there? It's none of our concern. Listen, we've got about seven packs of rations left. It's about two, three days tops. I don't trust him. We've got bigger things to worry about. I'm gonna go talk to Dr. Lee. I need you to unpack the rest of the gear and do inventory.
wish you hadn't done that. You are creatures of habit, order and routine. You are comfortable, but you don't know what we know. You don't know what the flora and fauna of the world knows. Your order is our chaos. Your chaos is our order. You are vermin, a disease. A sickness. Terminal. It will be better now. Your chaos is our order. After the torchlight red on sweaty faces, after the frosty silence in the garden, after the agony in stony places, the shouting and the crying, prison and palace and reverberations of thunder of springs in distant mountains, he who was living is now dead. We who are living are now dying with a little patience here is no water and only rock rock and no water and the sandy road the road winding above among the mountains which are mountains of rock without water if there was water we should stop and drink among the rocks one cannot sit or think. Sweat is dry and feet are in the sand. If there were only water among the rocks. Dry mountain mouth of carious teeth that cannot spit. Here, one can neither stand nor lie nor sit. There is no silence in the mountain but the dry, sterile thunder without rain. There is no solitude in the mountain. 